is a uh, public session. Uh, has a record note that it's, uh, if I can read my call correctly, it's 8.37, 59 minutes for the executive session. Uh, I want to thank everybody uh, for bearing with us. I uh, appreciate your uh, <coughs> patience, and also I'm glad you all stayed. Um, prior to the public comment, prior to tonight, uh, as board president, I had decided that we needed to have an executive session for the topics that we discussed. Uh, obviously, if I had any doubt, given the uh, some of the comments that were made tonight, uh, if anything, it reinforced the fact. So I can assure you that, uh, yes, we did have a longer executive <coughs> session than normal, but we had a full and thorough discussion of, a, of the personnel and legal issues that we needed to address. <coughs> At this time, I'm going to ask our solicitor to uh, give a report in terms of not the executive session, but a report in terms of where we are with the uh, legal process. I think would be appropriate with uh, our one employee and uh, Mr. Applebaum. Michael, Thank you'll do that, please. Thank you, Dr. Hartman. What I'd like to explain to the group this evening at this public meeting is that uh, there are employee issues that the school board is currently dealing with and the administration and the superintendent. And my comments are limited to what I would describe as the procedural process with the employee issues. And in no way would it involve a discussion of the factual background with the process. So the process is uh, important to follow each of the steps through, so I want to be clear how I describe it. As the daily item reported, there was a louder mill hearing which was held involving the principal. I want to explain to the public what that means because you may have questions about the process. The louder mill hearing is a uh, description of a right that a government employee has. Uh, and if it would be a simple place of business in private industry, it's merely a procedure where the employer has an opportunity to talk to an employee about employment issues. In a governmental setting, school district, even police officers, I see we have chief here tonight, this is a type of event where it's a formalized process where the employer talks to the employee. That event began uh, as stated in the newspaper. The next step along in the process, as also stated in the newspaper, was that there may be a time where there is a hearing involved where that hearing would be before the school board. If that should occur and the employee would like to have that as a public event, that's a right that the employee has. If that would happen on the evening of a, a regular school board meeting, then that would be an agenda item as a matter of business. If it would be done as a special meeting event, then that would be an advertised special meeting of the board. But certainly, if it's a request for a public hearing, everybody in this room is invited, as well as anybody else in the public. The <coughs> last issue that I wanted to note based upon some of the comments that we heard this evening, is on the topic of the authority of the superintendent to take certain actions. Uh, it's clear under the Pennsylvania School Code and the cases related to the school code that the superintendent does have the legal authority to suspend a principal. And that's because that's one of the job duties that, and uh, powers that the superintendent has. So. I want to make sure that was crystal clear in the description. Dr. Hartman, does that cover the issues? Thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go back to the uh, number four on the uh, agenda for a reorganization meeting, the election of officers. And I'm going to appoint uh, the board secretary. I'm going to ask her to appoint another one of her peers as a temporary chair. Uh, Mrs. Garman is board secretary. Would you please appoint one of the peers, one of your fellow directors is our temporary chair. 
Thank you, Dr. Hartman. And I would like to appoint uh, Mr. Michaels as a temporary president. Thank you so much. <laughs> we are to item B, which would be the rules of election. And I think the only rules of election we have this evening, per se, is that we will be using paper ballots for the officers. And I would entertain a motion at this time by someone <coughs> to utilize a paper ballot. So moved. We have a motion by Dr. Hartman and now a second by Mrs. Garman to utilize a paper ballot for election of officers. I would now open the nominations for president of the board at this time. If anyone has a nomination for president, Dr. Hartman. I would ask that perhaps we would take a voice vote on the procedure for Oh, I'm sorry. I jumped the gun. With That's correct. quite all right. <coughs> Please take a voice You're vote. New. Fine. Yeah, I'm new. I skipped out on the. We have our motion and a second to utilize paper ballots. All in favor, please <coughs> consent by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? The same sign. We will now move. <coughs> motion passes. We will now move to the nominations for president of the school board. Do we have any nominations? Dr. Hartman? Mr. Michaels. I nominate Wendy Weist. Dr. Hartman nominates Wendy Weist. I second that. Dr. Walter will second that motion. Are there any other nominations for president of the school board? <coughs> uh, Mr. Michaels? Sir. I would move that uh, the nominations be closed and that the secretary is authorized to cast the ballot unanimously. <coughs> okay, we have a motion to close the nomination <coughs> and allow the secretary to cast the ballot for the president. I'll we second that. What is the paper ballot for? That was in, that's the vote in case this motion doesn't pass. I shouldn't be jumping in here. That's chair. quite all right, sir. It's a bad habit. <laughs> we do have a second by Mr. Karpinski to close the nominations. All in favor, give your consent by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed, the same sign. Aye. One opposed. Madam Secretary, we need to pass the ballot. Which is the same as the nomination for president, is it not? I'd like to uh, nominate Mrs. Weiss as uh, make a motion to nominate her as president of the school board. Well, I think we're just asking you to cast it. <coughs> we just put it in. Cast the ballot. I think we, I think the motion, we maybe should have a roll call. We want a roll call on that yeah, one? We'll all be in record for you. Could we have a roll call on Mrs. Weiss as president of the school board? Please. Mr. Garman? No. Mr. Karpinski? Yes. Mr. Michaels? Yes. Mr. Stepp? Yes. Dr. Walter? Yes. Mrs. Weist? Yes. Mrs. Sampo? Yes. Mrs. Garman? Yes. Dr. Hartman? Yes. Motion passes. Mrs. Weist, it is now your meeting. Oh. You, can, you may move over here. No, if you don't mind, I'm going to take your seat for a moment. Yeah, we give her a microphone stuff for me. We have to bring it back. Okay. Does anyone ask for any nominations for the vice president of the school board? Uh, Jim Harbin. Is there a second? I would second that motion. Is there anyone who might like to entertain a motion similar to Dr. Hartman's for the other nominations for the vice president? Make a motion, I'd like to make a motion that we close the nominations for the vice president. I will second that motion. May we ask the, does that motion, Mr. Carpenter, be included as the secretary? You can cast the vote in one vote. <laughs> so then uh, we recommend uh, Dr. Hartman. 
Motion and a second. All those in favor of adopting the agenda as presented, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Appointment to boards and committees for other organizations. Do I have a recommendation for, uh, uh, make it for the uh, Degenstein Library? Mm -hmm. It's currently Mrs. Garman. Madam Chairman, if I may, I'd be willing to make a motion that uh, we reappoint the same individuals for each of the three items posted. Is there a second? I will second that motion. And uh, I guess we should identify who those are. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Michaels as our appointee for Sun Tech, and Mr. Carmen Karpinski is the. <coughs> oh, you're the I'm sorry, there's two committees that are. At, uh, no, you're the, just the alternate at Sun Tech. Correct. Until 2017, so that means you have to run for school board this year. <laughs> and it's by the looks of it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that's not amenable, so I'd like to ask all those in favor to signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. And I'd entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting. Oh. Can I say something? Can you just start? Before we adjourn, this meeting, I just want to say to the public that from a student perspective, we are very thankful for all of your concerns and support to all of us. And I just want you to realize that there may be some negative things going on within our school district and maybe even within this community, but there are very positive things still happening within this school district. Shigalini turns 50 years old this year. That's a great thing. There's so many amazing things happening within the school district. I understand that there's a lot of different issues that, yes, we are still concerned about. And yes, I will still represent the students, and so will the other two representatives, upon these issues and concerns that they have. But I just want you to realize that there's so many different positive things going on within the school district that we can't just focus on the negative. You know. There's a lot of great things coming up in the next few months that are really going to be out for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Do I have a motion to adjourn the organizational meeting? I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 We're not over. Second. Mr. Michaels. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those in favor. We're going to take just a couple of minutes in between meetings, so um, you're welcome to stay for the second meeting.